Hello, and welcome to this overview and demonstration of SureEdge Migrator. SureEdge Migrator is designed to enable and accelerate application and system migration between incompatible environments, such as moving systems from on-site data centers into the Google Cloud. At the source, Migrator is deployed using a typical Windows installer. This creates the source-side Migrator instance, two virtual machines, in the source virtualization environment where the servers to be migrated currently reside. In the cloud, Migrator is deployed using Google Cloud Launcher. Just a few clicks and the Migrator instance can be instantiated in Google Compute Platform in minutes. After deployment, the migration process begins by specifying the systems to be migrated. Simply provide the system type, name or address, and credentials for access. Migrator uses this information to access the immigrant systems to obtain system images used for migration. There are no agents to install or configure on the systems to be migrated. Migrator does its job without additional components on each server. For convenience, system information can also be added to Migrator in bulk using a spreadsheet. You can download a template spreadsheet through the user interface and fill it out. Once completed, you can choose which systems to add or update on the bulk upload screen. Once system information has been added, the migration process can begin. The first step is to perform discovery, which validates the supplied address and credentials and gathers information about each system, its capabilities and attributes, file systems to capture, etc. The discovery process is tracked as a job, as are all operations in Migrator. A job's progress can be monitored and details about a job's operation can be displayed in the job tracking screen. Once a system has been discovered, an initial image capture can be performed by clicking on the Migrate icon. This initiates the capture of a complete system image into the Migrator instance's store. Note that the capture and all other jobs can be scheduled to occur in the future. This is convenient if capture needs to be scheduled during off hours or to avoid conflicts with other operations such as backups. As before, a job is created to track the progress of capture operations. As the capture operation progresses, it can be tracked via the jobs monitor. When it completes, Migrator automatically kicks off a transfer operation which efficiently and safely transfers a copy of the image to the target Migrator instance in the cloud. This process only transfers unique chunks of data to the target site. This greatly reduces the transfer time and bandwidth consumed. Once a system image has been transferred to the cloud, the system can be recovered in the target environment. During recovery, any transformations that are needed to run the system in the new site are performed automatically. This includes things like image format changes and driver and agent updates. You can also specify attributes appropriate to the new environment, such as tuning the instance's CPU and memory allocations, the target zone and storage type, and specifying which virtual networks it should connect to. When recovery has completed, the system is available in the target environment just like any other instance. It will have the attributes and configuration specified as part of the recovery. While migrating a small number of individual servers can be achieved by moving one system at a time, more complex applications and larger migrations become complex and error-prone. To address this, Migrator allows systems to be grouped into plans and to be migrated as a unit. Building a plan groups a number of servers under a single name simply by choosing them from the list of known clients. The servers can be further subgrouped into recovery sets, and you can define the order the system should be recovered by assigning a recovery sequence number. All other attributes of recovery can also be specified as part of a plan. Each server's CPU and memory resources and other cloud-specific attributes are preset in the plan, along with networking and storage options. Bulk editing eases the process of specifying server attributes in plans containing a large number of servers. Within a plan, you can also specify pre- and post-capture operations to perform on the source servers. 
This allows customization of the capture and migration process within Migrator's automated workflows. Once a plan is created, it can be operated upon like a server. All migration operations like capture and recovery can be executed at the plan or recovery set level. For example, migrating a plan performs image capture and transfer for all servers in the plan. The number of parallel captures can be throttled to limit the impact on compute and network resources. On the target side, recovery can also be performed on the plan or recovery set level. This creates the virtual instances for each server using the attributes specified during plan creation. For each recovery, the original plan values can be adjusted if desired. For example, for testing, you can change networking attributes to isolate the recovered instances or to put them in a different region. Once plan recovery is initiated, the systems are recovered and instantiated in the order specified. When recovery is complete, all the planned servers are available as virtual instances in Google Compute Platform. The original servers have now been migrated to the Google Cloud and are now available in their new cloud home.